also on seven fellow officers saluting a fallen Customs and Border Patrol agent after a deadly accident. Seven Samantha Sosa is live in West Miami Dade with what we're learning about that officer. Samantha. Well, it all happened at this shooting range behind me. This officer uh, shot and killed how investigators are still trying to piece together. An investigation still underway Thursday after a tragedy at a West Miami Dade shooting range. A Customs and Border Protection officer shot and killed. The Miami Herald identifies the officer as 35 year old Jorge Arias. Many attended an emotional farewell to the fallen officer Wednesday afternoon. The somber procession from Ryder Trauma Center to the medical examiner's office across the street was short but powerful. Uh, not only was he a great officer, great friend, uh, great family, and everyone that's there showing their support, not only to the fellow officers, but also to the family during this tragic loss. Arias was assigned to Miami International Airport, but he was also a firearms instructor here at the Trail Glades shooting range in West Miami-Dade. He had that passion for firearms, so he, he was a great firearms instructor. According to Miami-Dade police, who are leading the investigation, Arias was working when around 10.30 in the morning, he was shot during a training exercise. Airlifted to Ryder Trauma Center, he later died of his injuries. Father, spouse, uncle, great uncle, great family, just all around great guy. Police say it's still unclear exactly how the officer was shot. Our Homicide Bureau is investigating the situation. It's, it is in its infancy, and we don't have that answer right now. Right now, the most important thing that we're asking for, not only as, as partner law enforcement agencies, but as a community, to please keep this officer and keep this officer's family in your prayers. So again, we are told that this happened during a training exercise, but how that is still all being figured out for now, uh, this range is not open. For now, we are live in West Miami-Dade. Samantha Sosa, 7 News.